What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The Pod Father Nate here from the Journey into Comics podcast, the flagship show of the Journey into Comics network. I just want to make sure you guys know you can tune in every single Monday for a brand new episode of our show, where if it's comic book related, we've got you covered. The following, the following, the following. Is a journey, into comic. journey into comics. 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 Network. 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 Production. Production. Greetings, adventurers! Are you looking for adventure beyond your wildest imagination? Look to delve into dungeons to reveal secrets beyond the realm where the mind can wander. To face unspeakable horrors. To battle unimaginable demons. To claim glory and honor. Join us in a new podcasting adventure where we will journey far and wide to worlds, planets, territories, dungeons. I'm Nick. I'm Dave. And this is Dungeons with Dudes. And we're back for another action-packed episode of Dungeons with With Dudes. Sitting here once again with the most wonderful man in the world, Dave Linder. I'm not that wonderful. You're pretty wonderful. You're wonderful. Thanks. That's a lie, though. You it's are not. far more wonderful. Oh, I'm you. I'm, uh, I'm done. I came. I'm the most <laughs> we, can, we can stop sucking each other off, and we will uh, say hello to our lovely... Esteemed crew. Yeah. Crew. I was going to say guest, but that doesn't seem right. Yeah. Crew. We're team. Like crewing. Re- We're team now. Guests. We are Damn boys. We are them boys. Hold on. I really don't know how to follow uh, the love fest here, so hi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Buckles. Right. Yeah, Buckles is here. No following our love. Yeah. It's just love. It's just Dave fucking Hemmer. sexual. What is love? Oh, <laughs> baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. The no. low hanging fruit, guys. <laughs> Isn't That's all I'm doing over there. You see the back of his head if you're watching on Facebook Live. <coughs> it's sexy. It's, it it's says, nice. It, it says kill everything. It's nice. Which is what. I try to do it with Uthal, twice orphaned. Kill everything. Just twice mostly orphaned. successfully. Twice Actually, the, if you're into death metal, Kill Everything is a very good band. Yes, they are. We got Mr. Alex Watts over there. Mm, yeah. And Mr. Alan Leroy Jenkins Tyler. Hot! What is the Leroy Jenkins thing? Just. Uh, so my nickname. My nickname's AJ. People call me AJ um, ever since I was a kid because my dad and I have the exact same name, Alan, so Leroy, name? Tyler. Leroy. Tyler. Leroy. So it's Leroy. just Leroy. Oh, so everyone kept that. saying, where's the J come from? And I'm like, it's Junior, but I'm not a Junior. And I have to explain it every time somebody asks I've, me. I, I know so I just put Jenkins in there so that way people are like, AJ, oh, Leroy Jenkins. I get it now. Huh. And then I just go with oh. that instead. I loosely followed that. <laughs> <laughs> I tuned out about halfway through. I tried right? to do that. <laughs> You're good. I, I, it, it's all right. Fucking Watts over here fell asleep. And <laughs> drift away. I've actually, uh, I believe we had that story on here. Like, I actually, I've never heard that, that story. I don't think I've heard that before, actually. I've never heard that I know story. I've been sitting in this room with AJ telling that story before. Birds with dudes. Well, he has been in here. Yeah, I think it was Probably Birds with dudes, dudes then. Since it was I will time. You probably had a group or two in your time. <laughs> Crossover. <laughs> all right. So... Um, honestly, the, the recap for this episode is, is pretty easy. Pretty short, yeah. yeah. Um, can I do the thing? You may you do, do the, the thing. thing. Wait, who's doing the recap? I'll do it. Do it. Can I do it, though? Am I allowed? No. Yeah. yeah. Hey, are we good? Can I? We're good. Do it. Everything's yeah. fine. <laughs> Previously on Dungeons with Dudes. It's a very short and simple story. <laughs> As the best ones are sometimes. We left the camp of the Vistani, laden down with wonderful treasures and deadly tools of war. <laughs> and as we walked down the road... You're a tool of war. <laughs> you're not wrong, sir. You're not wrong, sir. But as we walked down the road, getting ever closer to our goal in the town of Alaku, we were beset upon by cantankerous and craven scarecrows. <laughs> After a brief and furious battle, we smote them down to the ground with no scratch to worry about. Okay, that's not true. But anyhow, point is, when we last left us, 
when we last left. <laughs> yep, we were outside the towns of Valaki. But little did we know, it was only the beginning. And we're in. <clears throat> so we're saying you guys camped before, and you guys are, it's, it's early in the morning, you guys reach the town. Yep. The old Selic Road meanders into a valley washed over by dark brooding mountains to the north and south. The woods reside, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog presses up against this wall, as though looking for a way inside, hoping to catch the town a slumber. The dirt road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are a half dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled on them. <laughs> Oof, metal. E. Okay. Eee. So we came in from the west then? Uh, the old Slavic Sol- Road. Yeah, right through there. Right. So, old Slavic Road. I probably said it wrong. Like I was Is that something wrong? No, no, it still sounds pretty nice. Was, was, there, was there more? Uh, no, that, that's it with there. Um, There's two guards. Mm-hmm. Does, uh, does, anybody, guard? does anybody else want to hail the guards? I'll hail them. All right. Hail them. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, travelers entering Balaki. Mm-hmm. They like, look at you because they don't see many. State your yeah. business. Um, transporting a few friends from uh, what was the last town? Barovia. The town was Barovia. Oh yes, Barovia. Uh, into Vlaki. All right, come the on. Bit too honest, friend. <laughs> so the village in. Could have gone worse. Okay, could have gone worse. Okay, no, I, so, I couldn't remember. If you guys remember, you were going to ask Irina where to go. Yeah, so as we're, as we're rolling through the gate, uh, Garza kind of like is alongside the cart and whispers, I'd keep your neck covered, lass. Extra well. Yeah. She kind of. And yeah, to draw, to draw attention. Like her beard like I just did. <laughs> to, draw, uh, to draw attention away from that, I'm going to ask Irina as we're on the cart and stuff. Uh, during our rest of something, sitting in the car next to her, and I said, so where exactly, where exactly do we have to take you in order to, uh... Stop. I, where do we have to take you? Which, where's safest for you? I don't really know. I've never been here before. Not many people who live in Barovia have ever Didn't, it, have, left hasn't your brother Mark, said anything? Yeah, Someone Mark to look out for? No, not that I know of. I mean, we could always try asking around. I'm not sure there's a... My aunt Kathy. Hi, Aunt Kathy. I love you. Hi, Aunt Kathy. I love you, too. We hope the dice are lucky. The too. dice are very lucky. Thank you. Yep. Uh, there might be a, a Burgo Master here or a church. I don't remember the best way Burgo to Master go Burgo Master is like Let's go for a game first. Well, no, let's kinda, go. I'm going, I'm going, I think we should go to the Burgo Master. Let's, let's get everyone where she needs to go first. If that's, you guys, that's what yeah, we don't know where she needs to go, so... That's what I was thinking. If you guys would like to, there, like, this town... It's still pretty rough looking. Right. But um if you guys wanna make a anyone wants to make a persuasion and try to like maybe flag down some okay. people. Again. They definitely don't seem as oppressed uh, as that twenty. Twelve. <laughs> I'm gonna say you're able, persuasive. You're able to like find like a, a a passing commoner I have the, a okay. seventeen on my persuasion. All right, you both build So between between twice Robin and I, as we you know we're starting to talk to people. Hello, hi, hi. Um, do you happen to know where the Burgomaster is around here? Um, where he might be located? Oh, he's he'll point out the direction towards like the middle of town. Okay. The mansion's right that way. Oh, really? Uh, and as you guys, we'll say like as you guys are talking to the people, I'll just like read this information like I did. Okay. Like, uh, you guys take a little time, but... <clears throat> Are we ready? Kind of touristing it up, walking around town. Yeah, yeah, we'll say this can take a little while. You're talking to people. Uh, the Blue Water Inn offers food, wine, and shelter to visitors. Wine? A stranger with pointed ears is staying there. He came to Barovia from a distant land, riding into town on a caravan wagon. Okay. Uh, the Burgomaster, Baron Vargas uh, Valkovich has decreed that the Festival of the Blazing Sun will be held in the town square in three days. The previous festival, which he called the Wolf's Head Jamboree, was less than a week ago. Please tell me that's actually from the book, Wolf's Head Jamboree. Yeah. 
Full said you have a What's the festival? Like a sock hop. You said the festival of the burning sun? Blazing sun. Blazing sun. Blazing sun. Thank you. Well, let's say, like, you know, this is going to take a little while. It'll get all this information from one right. pack. We'll right. say, yeah. This is just us talking around to people. Yeah. Uh, Velaki has endured at least one festival every week for the past several years. Endured. Some Velakians believe that the festivals keep the devil's strad at bay. Others think they provide no protection or benefit whatsoever. Consider them dismissal affairs. Most consider them dismissal affairs. Hmm. Those who speak ill of the festivals are declared by the Burgomaster to be in league with the devil strad and arrested. Some are thrown in the stocks while others are taken to the Burgomaster's mansion so that the Baron can purge them of their evil. Oh, oh dear. Mm. This place isn't quite as nice as I thought. <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't want to leave her at the Burgomaster's place. The Burgomaster's henchman, uh, Isaac Str Stranzi, has a history of violence as well as a fiendish deformity, a monstrous arm from which he can conjure fire. Fear of Isaac keeps the Baron's enemies at bay. So as you're learning all this stuff, you're, it's not quite this as pleasant. This is a nice, happy place. We're, we're starting to, uh, the illusion that Valak, because we are all somewhat at least... Okay, but... All he told us really we, was we, Valaki was fortified. That was pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, but I was just like, oh, cool, like a safe place. Which okay, I guess the thing, the thing is, is I think that Irina can hold, hold up with not talking crap about some festivals every week. And there's more, there's more stuff, too. Okay, yeah, yeah, please, okay, please, please do. Sorry, please do. It's not, it's not really a good way to, like, come up this, so let's do it all at once. Works. Uh, no one hates the Burgomaster more than Lady Fiona Watcher, who is often quoted as saying, I'd rather serve the devil than a madman. She owns an old house in town, but barely leaves her estate. Her two sons, Nikolai and Carl, <laughs> are local <laughs> troublemakers. Lady Watcher also has a mad daughter whom she keeps locked away. The Burgomaster doesn't confront Fiona for her or her offspring because he is afraid of Lady Watcher, whose family has old ties with Strahd. So we don't want to take her there. Uh, purple flashes of light have been seen emanating, yeah, emanating from the attic of the Burgomaster's mansion. <sighs> Uh, wolves and dire wolves prowl the woods and aren't afraid to attack travelers at the old Slavic road. Well-armed groups of hunters and trappers have managed to kill several of the wolves, but more keep coming. Uh, and then, it is too dangerous to go fishing on Lake Zarovich, which that's the lake near over there. Uh, but the threat of Strahd's wolves have stopped, hasn't stopped Bluto Craigcroft, Craigcroft, his names are dumb. <laughs> the town drunk from trying. He sets out each morning and returns every evening, but hasn't caught any fish. Oh, I like him. I like him already. Okay. There has been no recent sightings of the Mad Mage of Mount Baratok. Folks used to see him skulking along the north shore of Lake Zar Zarvich shooting lightning bolts into the water to kill the fish. <laughs> <laughs> the Homer Simpson method, I see. My <laughs> God. <laughs> These people. <laughs> There's a Vistani camp in the woods southwest of town. Vistani there aren't very friendly. Vistani are welcome in Wallachia. You learn we that? can see Ag Wallachia. These Vistani. are my kind of people. <laughs> what they <laughs> are or are not welcome in Wallachia. They are not. Okay. West of town is a haunted mansion. Uh, legend has it it has a dra that a dragon died there long, long ago. That has a what? We should, um, someone we dragon died there. Notes. Dra died where? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's haunted Agent. mansion. Haunted should we be taking where? notes of this? I've been. Oh, you have been? Yay. Yeah. Thank you, AJ. Thanks, AJ. <laughs> uh, when one more as you learn how to sag. South of town is a village that has been abandoned. Shh. Sorry. South of town is a village that has been abandoned for decades. Its burgomaster committed some terrible offense and, and incurred the wrath of Strahd. All right, let's go to that. So you learn all that as you're mucking around. This place seems lovely. Real quick, uh, it's where, in <laughs> as I'm finishing up with the, as I'm finishing up with the last person, I'm gonna be like, where did you say the haunted mansion was again? 
uh, west of town. I'm kind of like going this way. Like in one? <laughs> <laughs> no, like of town, not like in town. Oh, so we would have gone past it. Oh wait, on the on the Salish Road. Not that that actually. Matters. Uh, it's kind of. Let me double check here. It could be like that. It's like it. You, it, it was off, way off in the in the distance. So That's you just didn't actually pass it. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. But when it says when they talk about a dying dragon, like the dead, dead dragon, that kind of brings you that order of the dra- silver dragon. That kind of brings Ooh. to mind. Okay. Oh wait, maybe that we might, talk to that. That might be a decent place to go then. Maybe we talk to the Order of the Silver Dragon, and that's where we, we know they off. we knew they were. Oh wait, no, no, because I was from the Revenant. Never mind. I'm yeah, but we know but you. the Revenant was very anti-Strahd. I know, but I'm 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 trying to mash puzzle pieces that aren't fitting together. I I would honestly say that seems like a better bet than the. Let's crazy, I think we crazy talk to Virgo Virgo Ma- Master. I, 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 I say we talk to him. No, we definitely want to talk to him. I definitely want to talk. I'm Irina. Would you mind uh, accompanying me to the inn, so that way we might find a room and stuff while we kind of muck about a town a little bit. Very well. As you guys like make your way towards the town, Can I out of character ask, uh, didn't her brother actually make arrangements, or did he just no, not take her there? Okay. He just heard it was heavily fortified, which is why it would be probably safe. Not gonna get and it's the far, it's the you know farther but away. But he did from promise us pay, payment on arrival, right? Yeah, and we believed him. Sure. God fucking. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Say, dude, no, you're right. That's yeah. that's on us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, he promises payment while he is still in Barovia. Well, she probably has the payment on her, maybe. Uh, okay. As you guys are walking further through town, like going towards the end, you pass a church. Uh, I'll just read the little thing. Uh, this slouching, centuries-old stone church has a bulging steeple in the back and walls lined with cracked, stained glass windows depicting pious saints. A fence of wrought iron encloses a garden of gravestones next to the church. A thin mist creeps among the graves. Mm. This sounds like in. something we got out of our fortune telling. Cha- the chapel was inside... Uh, Pretty sure the chapel was inside Castle Ravenloft. Yeah. Uh, I think it was implied from the fortune. I mean, I plan on going to check that the, the church out anyway. So I get the feeling we're probably going to check out most of these places in yeah. in their terms. I mean, okay, find what you seek amid ruin amid ruins of a place of supplication. That can amid be church. Ruins? I think I might have accidentally put them together as like being in yeah. Castle Ravenloft because a bunch of the other shit was like. Al, I mean, I'm gonna, we're going to check that out anyway. Yeah. So. Let's figure out what we're, what we're doing with her first. Let's, okay, yeah, we're taking her to the inn. As yeah, far yeah. as I'm concerned, I want to get her into a place to so in. I can find out yeah. where I'm getting my money. <laughs> I, 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 we made a mistake, but <laughs> my friend. Uh, uh, yes, Garza. Yes, Garza. I'm going to say something. <laughs> You're probably not going to like it very much. Go ahead, Garza. There's more important things in the world than money. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. But what I'm saying is, is now, okay, if we don't, if we don't get paid, are we just dropping her off here? How do we know she's safe? Or you know, this is safer than any place else. We're going to be able to get her for the moment. We'll take her to the inn. I'm going to go look in the church eventually. Hopefully, maybe. Can we afford the inn? We're going to go find out. <laughs> Realistically. Did we ask her if she brought any money with her? I say she paid for it. Irina, do you have any cash on you? We, once we get to the end, you will have your payment. Everyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've been carrying the money around this whole time, huh? I just pull out my wooden uh, oaks. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually doing that so at all. So I I'm see. Just... Let's just. Yeah, so we go to the Blue Wine Inn. Blue Water Inn? Blue Water Inn, I believe. Oh, you know the Blue Wine Inn. You would have known that if you would have taken it. <laughs> we have to go across the street to the Blue Water Inn. Ah, there's a guy that turns it to wine. It's pretty cool. They oh, heard of him. Yeah. All right, as you guys go up to the Blue Water Inn, uh, gray smoke issues from the chimney of this large two-story wooden building with a stone foundation and sagging tile roof upon which several ravens have perched. A painted wooden sign hanging from the main entrance depicts a blue waterfall. Hmm. Nice. Guys, I think this might be the blue um, water place. I'm going to go inside. All right. Um, it's a very big area. Um, really? There's a, there's a decent Carefully. amount of people there. Uh, is 
it feel a little more cheerful than any place outside? A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Not like still not, you know, your typical adventure. It's not the Red Dragon Inn, but it's 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 not, you know, the Holiday Inn in Detroit either. <laughs> so we go oh, yeah. <laughs> we walk we walk inside the, the Blue Water Inn. Uh the chest room. puffed out. Uh, damp, <laughs> damp cloaks hang from the pegs in the entrance portico. The tavern is packed with tables and chairs, with narrow paths meandering between them. A bar stretches along one wall, under a balcony that could be reached by a wooden staircase that hugs the northern wall. Another balcony overhangs an entrance to the east. All of the windows are fitted with thick shutters and crossbars. Lanterns hanging above the bar and resting on the, on the tables bathe the room of, in dull orange light and cast shadows upon the walls. Most of which are adorned with wolf heads mounted on wooden plaques. Boy, the decor in here is wonderful. Is that is that uh, the whole? Description? There's somebody. That's the tap room. Okay, I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, is there is there anyone behind the bar? Oh yes, so there is a. Barkeep. Yeah. There's a. Where is that? Come on. Corin, do you want to talk to the barkeep? There's a. There is a. Uh, sure. Figure out what's going on. A female human at the bar. Might be cute. Maybe girl. What's her deal? <laughs> Sorry. To find out. <clears throat> we decided that it is Corey. Okay. <laughs> How can I help you, dearies? Dearies? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try voice. How can I help you, dearies? Nope, not doing so. <laughs> that sounds like the hag. <laughs> I'll take the finest swill you got. All right. Uh, there is. The finest, the, the Red Dragon Crush wine, is one silver piece. Uh, he asked for swill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Purple Grape Mash number three <laughs> is only three electron pieces. Hmm. Electron pieces. And we'll just, like, just speed this process. Irina will give you guys 50 gold a piece for getting it. Thank you. Hell yeah. There we go. And she's very thankful, but she would still appreciate we try to find a more permanent... Does she have the kids uh, with her? <laughs> Is she yeah, keeping the kids? Irina is, is, is wardening at the kids yeah. for the moment. They kind of cling to her. They don't really... Yeah. While this is going around and stuff, I just want to say, it's not about the fact that we got paid, it's about the principles that we should have gotten paid. Okay, Joker. It's not about the It's about the mess. Uh, uh, as you it. talk to her, she will... Uh, you, she, uh, a bed costs... bed for the night costs one electric piece. Uh, you can get food there, which is one electrum piece. Um, What's what an electrum? I is, is. I'm going to take like out out copper, of the right? out it's, of the fifty gold that I got. I'm going to take out five gold pieces, and I'm going to be like, "This is going to pay for my room, my food, and a couple of drinks." And, and she's going to go. Thanks for the giant tip. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, well. make sure, make sure that this one, this one, and this one, and just point to Irina and the two children, and be like, make sure that they yeah, are fucking tight. Let him take care of. Care of Make sure that they, you know, they're uh, bothered. Make sure they are well kept and well fed and stuff. It's not and, you know. Uh, so, how many electron okay. pieces is a gold piece? Just to make sure. Um, I don't. Because the denominations are generally like one hundred of the less of the one below it is one of the of the one. Above I believe it. so. Then. So like. With the gold that Varanus and Ag just threw at her, we just got those. We just got those three a room for like a month. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and like food and everything. So like they're they're pretty well set. Like that is a decent place, at least a fixed point that we know they're going to be at. You know, until we find a more permanent solution. Uh, Excellent. Uh, uh, with, with, the, with, with the room that comes with, you are fed hot beet soup and fresh bread. Ooh! Uh, for an extra EP, which you know you guys are well, you can get a uh, a wolf steak. Mm. I will take a wolf steak. I'm, and I'm going definitely to, eating wolf steak. I, I think wolf steak all around for that last wolf steak. Round of wolf steak. <laughs> round of wolf steak. <laughs> and I so throw let's... another gold piece. Oh, that, like, I snap it that and direction. She does, it's, like, it's very kind of you. I am. Uh, my name is uh, Dedica uh, Dorkova. Dark, Dedica Dorkova. Yeah, I like that name. I, uh, uh, Didi. Me and my husband. Oh, mm. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, you have a very nice uh, accommodation here. Thank you very much. We One really electron like. piece is worth five silver pieces. An electron piece is worth five, five silver, silver pieces. Yep. So that would mean it is twenty gold. Yep. Or twenty electrons makes a gold coin. Yep. Okay. Still a lot. Still quite a bit. All right, so... Yeah. 
We just gave her like a hundred yeah. days worth of. Yeah. So anyhow, all right. So let's let's say we all get our food and we all we all pop a squat. I'm getting a beer. I want a beer. And we all get we all get some it's all wine. I, I will take whatever has alcohol in it. I'm taking the most. Corn wants swill. <laughs> He got, he got the Grape Crush number three. I got the Grape Crush I'm going three. to... It's not it's great, it's, but it's... Let you guys do it first. Great. I'd like a pint of leavings, please. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, so let's... We, we all sit down. We all get our drinks and our food. Now, let, now let's... When we have our when we have our drinks, real quick, um, before you start, Garta, I'm going to raise my glass, so I'm going to be like a toast, because we have been kicking ass as of late, and I just want to celebrate the revelry while we can, right? Uh, Varanus takes his mug of wine and, like, breathes on just a little bit to chill it and downs that. Hey, 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 hold on. Can you turn mine, too? <laughs> Garda throws back the water and just kind of... <laughs> as you guys, like, sit down, like, the it's relatively... We'll kind of jump through space. It's kind yeah. of, like, mid, midday. We'll yeah. see, you know. It took you a while to get through town, and you're... Yeah. you're Checking, scoping things out. Game so, of wasted. So, so, <laughs> so, so, so the bar's getting, now. the bar's getting a little, you know, it's picked up. There's quite a bit. Um, the, uh, you can, you, you can talk to Dana because she's like the only person in the tent in the, the only resident, like one person guest staying at the town is uh, a man called uh, Rattavio. Rattavio, the pointed eared man. And as you guys, like you know. Survey the room. You can definitely point out who he is. <laughs> he was the one hundred man. Yeah. Okay. Is it uh, elf? Do you know? Where's it at? Just for a half elf. To actually. If it's right. if it is half elf, then it would probably look more elvish to you. Uh, he's a half half elf. Uh, he's very colorfully dressed. So he looks like an elf to basically everybody who's. And you know, as you guys are kind of watching, he is. He's like on a stage almost, and he is uh, regaling the entire bar with these like. Crazy stories that sound. Up, he's up there barking. That sound he's way the, too, way too yeah. crazy to be true. But he's really getting the crowd going with these stories, and he's the best stories are. Um. All right. But he, he says that. He, but he starts that they're true. Like he's, you know, right. I once saw a wolf that was twenty feet tall, and like you know, Veranus. I'm already losing my patience with him. Veranus, follow my lead. And I start making What are you two there. doing? Nothing I don't know. Crazy. I've been drinking and I'm following his lead, apparently. Nothing crazy. Um, is staying a distance away, but making sure. Agnes, I'm going to approach... I'm just drunk. Uh, I'm like, okay, whatever now. Uh, Twice Orphan is going to leave. Are you, guys, are you guys, like, mingling with the, the I'm crowd? Going to, I'm going to go straight up to the dude who's telling stories and stuff. Well, is uh, he speaking in front of a crowd? Yeah, he's speaking for, like, the whole bar. Like, oh, okay, stage. well, then, fucking, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but, like, he'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to follow Ag just to kind of back him up a little bit. I'm going to just go up to the front, get very close and stuff, kind of make myself a little more noticeable. And stuff. He, he does his performance, you know, he goes through his performance. And I'm sitting in the front row and getting yelled we'll at. We'll see if you guys are, behind are me. mingling here. You guys are mangling. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm we'll going to pause on you two. Yeah. I'm gonna be listening to the tales and yee from the back of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I like around. that one, yee yee! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was cool, yee yee! Uh, yee! What does uh, Twice Orphan want to do? He's pinning his new show, Brews of Adventure. Uh, <laughs> Twice Orphan's been trying to say what he's doing for a little bit here. I was going to step outside and see what's going on outside. All right, um, it's your typical town. It's not quite as bustling as you know. Yeah. Twice Four Orphan's pretty large, and it's not used to being inside places, so that's fair. True. It's true. Very true. Uh, um, and we'll say, uh, Mr., uh, Mrs., uh, Garda and, uh, Corin are, you know, mingling around, you know, trying to get the lay lane, get more information. And you guys stumble across these two, like, gnarly-looking dudes that look like they're, like, hunters. Mm-hmm. They're sitting at the table together. They look very, very dour. Mm-hmm. Uh. Hello. Hi. Right. Have you been, um, have you happened to, you look like an outdoorsy type. <laughs> ah, yes we are. Have you encountered those, um, those scarecrows out there? There's a lot of things out there. Hmm. Scarecrows, you say? Aye, they moved around, they had, they had rusty knives for fingers. Hmm. 
don't get very many around here, but I've heard tale. Mm. Um, yeah, what's, uh, what's something exceptional that you've seen around here? Oh, we've seen a lot. Pull up a seat if you like. Seen some shit, man. And they introduce himself as uh, one of them is uh, the the one doing most of the talking is Svoldar Svoldarovich. This guy literally is last name, Svold- first name, <laughs> adding bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, because it's like Svoldar- that's kind Svoldar- of like you know how that's that very Romanian. Vikings do like like son. A son of bitch is yeah. like that. Yeah. So it's Voldar. Z- z- it's Zoldar- S- I'll just pre- spell it. It's S Z O L D A R. Zoldar. 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 Zoldarovich. Zoldarovich. And the other one is. <laughs> Givgini? Kruskin. <laughs> Gilgin. <laughs> it is Y E V G E N I. These people just name themselves with Scrabble tiles. <laughs> <laughs> give, 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 That's twenty points. Give Guinea well, Crush Crush. Give Guinea uh, Crushkin. Crushkin. But with a K. Crushkin. Like uh, like Mortal Kombat. Like, like um, King K rule. And corn. All right. So yeah, Garta, Garta go ahead, goes ahead and pulls up a chair next next to these these gentlemen. They're they're being nice enough. Yeah. Like it's another. Uh, you find out they're uh, scouts, they're hunters. They do a lot of their, uh, they they get a lot of their earnings by killing the wolves around there and selling the meat. Yeah. Um, Garza, actually, um, I know this might seem a bit like a random question. Um, is there so Lake Zarevich to the north, right? Aye, yeah, over there. Is that is there a mountain anywhere near there? Oh, uh, surrounded by the mountains. Surrounded by them. A lot of wolves up there. Oh yeah, wolves everywhere. Man. Wolves everywhere. Is there a? And then like when he's talking, the other one's like, "Yeah, wolves everywhere." Like he like he's like mirrored, he kind of mirrors what he said. What he said. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a little dude. The, the two stupid dogs. He's a little guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind no, he's a uh, yeah, sandlot yeah, for brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Everybody's just bringing me drinks today. So, um, bringing, they've got oh, wonderful please, keeping leave that door open. Oh, my God. Is there a cave nearby? Is there a lot of caves up there? Uh, uh, there I don't know any particular cave, but there probably is. You watch out. You want to be careful over there. The mad, that mad witch mage over there. Uh, can you can you tell me anything else about that that mage? We we heard a little bit about him. He's mad. Dylan's like mad. <laughs> All right. No one really sees like, him. Is he angry or crazy man? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No one really gets that close to tell. Uh, yes. I'm totally, totally like, don't trust them the Sandlot kids, just older. Yes. <laughs> we don't trust them magic types. He's like, yeah, I don't trust the magic types. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, understandable. Understandable. <laughs> Do a cantrip real quick. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, it's divine magic. It's fine. You looking for a guide in the woods? Um, how much are your services? Uh, five gold per day. How long does it take to get to and from Lake Zarevich? Uh, it's, it's right over there, not too far. All right. We will definitely keep you in mind. I will, I will uh, run that idea by my companions. Very well. Um, it was good to meet you. She, she gives them both a very earnest two-handed handshake. Good to meet you as well, young lady. Uh, Garta. Garta. And, uh, she kind of oh, does her hair back, not like the flirtatious way, just like the flattered, like, young, because she's, you know, middle-aged. 170. 170. <laughs> middle-aged. <laughs> she's a cougar. No, she is not. She's not she's clever. Not, she's not tall. Yet. She's a family woman. Why she you she is not 200. She's 170. She's absolutely. You watch how you talk about Dungeon Mom. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, okay, good to know. I will keep that information in mind. To tell the group later. Uh, uh, Varanus is just continually downing, uh, I guess, wine and watching the watching the bar. He's just getting more and more uproariously laughing, kind of Drax esque. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as you like walk up and start doing that, he like you know because you guys definitely stand out. Yeah, clearly the, adventurers. Yeah, he kind of like you know takes a an eye into you, not like a an eye. 
Like he's uh, he's kind of close to the front row, and the person behind him is just very aggravated, <laughs> very tall, <laughs> uproariously laughing dragonborn in front of him. <laughs> we'll say that guy, you know his performance is just like you know half hour or whatever. Yeah. For honest, I get it. It's funny. And he's like, I'll be here all night. If you'd like to give me drinks or tips, it will come speak to me. And he'll kind of get off to the. He gets off the stage. But yeah. Okay. The second that he gets off the stage, I will. Uh, take the stage. With you. Yes, take the stage. 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 Uh, I'm going to go up to him and I'm going to be like, uh, holding... What, hello, holding, I'm actually going to take this drink, I'm out taking a drink out of Varanus' hand and I'm going to be like, oh, real quick, hold on. And then I go up and I'm just like, you know, <laughs> I'm just like, hey, well met! And I hand him the drink that I have in my hand. I have Varanus' drink in my hand, but I hand it to him and I'm just like, well met! Those are some interesting stories. That Brandon just reaches over and takes his drink back from you. Yeah, yeah, you can have that back. <laughs> I just didn't want to make it seem like <laughs> pause time and just no. Um, so yeah, very, very interesting stories and stuff. Uh, say, where are you from? The better question is, where am I not from? Not from Barovia. Not from this this. Uh, not from this plane of existence, maybe. Kind of like he can't give you a funny look. Were you trapped here too? <laughs> <laughs> trapped? <laughs> trapped? This is a lovely town. I'm, I'm sorry. Forgive my friend. Been here for a month now. My, by the way, my name is Rotavio. Rotavio, hi. Nice to meet you. Agathon Holderheck. You good to meet you. Hag. Good, good, to meet you. Hag. good to meet you, Ag. Brand and you. He, he sort of sort of belches mid name. <laughs> 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 You're, you're very funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go so over you've here. Been here for, so you've been here for a month now? I've been staying at this for a month. I'm, uh, of course, you say I'm a, uh, a ringmaster from a f distant land. A distant land. And which land would that be? For any distant story, land. Lost she's walking distant away. land. It's a distant land called distant land. Very, very interesting. Not very imaginative. It's distant a great. It's not written in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? So I take it you're not from here. How did you how did you manage to uh, come across the town of Velaki? What no one knows from this town? What a lovely town. Okay, it's not a lovely town, but Vran's distracted by his empty glass goes back to the bar. <laughs> and he just kinda gets up mid sentence. So, <laughs> <man. laughs> he's, he's drunk. It seems I mean it seems like a nice place. Has been has it is it very safe, very fortified? I've heard it's very fortified. <laughs> I'd say so. This in this inn. Is I mean, very you've, been nice. alive, you've been alive. Erwin has been months, more than so. generous. Let's see, and let's get. And sorry, who has been more than generous? Erwin, the the owner. The oh, oh yeah, the owner. Yeah. Um, what's Erwin? What's Erwin's deal? What's, give me the give me the scoop. Let's You're see. a bard, right? Let's stop. I'm just kidding. Um, Are you trying to make me like get this guy to go? Trying to like if there's anything like if there's anything of Erwin beyond the fact that they are generous. Kind of like that idea. Um, in character persuasion, if you're trying to get more into this guy. By the way, while you're rolling, Brandis is going back to the bar. So you talk to the bartender next. Corin's gonna kind of stumble up and help act because. Oh, thank you. Like, hey, Corin. You like talking him up? Is 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 Corin drunk too? Oh, Corin's pretty drunk. Yeah, he's pretty drunk. But he's not. But he's not retarded. I mean, it's like Brandon is just belligerent. He thinks Ag's hitting on him. So what do you say? What do you say? Let's all. I'm just like, okay, so I rolled eight. So obviously this isn't gonna be good. Um, I'm just like, listen, listen, yeah. What's this person steal? Like, come on, you're, you, you, you've been around for a month, you must know something, you know what I mean? It's and I kind of, like, try and, try and do, like, a wink, but it's just both in my eyes, so I'm just blinking really hard. <laughs> Can Corn come up and, and interject in this? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Please, Please great. save me. So, we got either, like, a persuasion roll, or, what's say persuasion? Fifteen, Ooh. and my persuasion is minus one, so it's fourteen. So you're like, what he means? 
space. So I was like, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try to explain what he means. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Erwin and his wife uh, Danica are very, very generous, and their little children around here too. They've been treating us quite well. They're very, very well. I, I was, I'm a big fan of your stories. You, you've been, you've been to many a land. Yes, I have. I so, came here about a month ago with my my good friend Piccolo, but sadly. Piccolo was not allowed in the bar, so I had to give him to the toy maker. What fell on of earth are you talking about? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Piccolo, my friend. My, my little monkey friend. Your oh monkey. Oh, I'm sorry. You had a monkey friend named Piccolo, and where is he now? <laughs> I gave him to the toy master here in town. And Why did he where do that? Would... It's a very dour what he could have used a monkey. We, I think we all can do that. <laughs> okay, and where is the Toy Master in town? Like, is it like a couple blocks away? No, no, no point out. Cool, awesome. I still visit Piccolo every time. That's, every time dog. That's really cool. All right, Corin, I'll see you later. I start making my way out of the bar. And, like, um, he will just keep talking to you, and he'll, like... You can kind of tell us. that he takes a quite an interest in you. If you're, like, the, you know, you guys are sharing stories and drinking, I take it. <laughs> We'll say throughout the night, you guys can you can learn some more things. We'll pause right there. Okay. And you're outside. I'm outside. I'm actually wanting to uh, get a quick uh, reminder of what we were told where places are in town, like the mayor and everything. Oh, okay. Um, at that? this point, at this point, I'm already I take notes heading on that. out of the bar. I'm still in the bar. At this point, I'm heading I'm out of the bar. bar, so like I'm gonna I mean, go. Three when of us I, are still there. With, with all standing outside, trying to figure out. Uh, I'm trying to say I'm doing this while you guys were talking. So yes, yeah, right. 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 So you guys have been spending the last like hours in the yeah, bar. Yeah, happening and concurrently. Me, Kyle. The second I find out about this monkey, I'm out. I'm finding that monkey. <laughs> because that, that's uh, all. You're that kind of making your. You're just walking around the town. Uh, you pass the church. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty much just walking around getting another good look for it. And we'll say this is, like, these guys are already half drunk, so it's taking a lot. This is a good part of the evening, so you can take a lap around the. You're not getting drunk. Honestly, I wanted to check out the church afterwards and talk to those hunters, but like that. No, you, you, can't. you no, we can. You keep doing other. This can all happen at the yeah. town. Table. Uh, the Burgo Master you can see is a big mansion, and then uh, there's a lot of. Stuff. A lot of spaces. But just to make it simple, on the map, uh, N3 is where the Burgomaster is. No, that's me. <laughs> You're the right next to me. N3. N3. Where's the N? I'll say the N is what? N1? This N's all That's the church. N2, <laughs> N2 is the N. N2, well, okay, say that one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, in two, where you guys are at, in the middle of that, that's where you are at right now. That's the end. That's the end. Cool. And in three is the burger. So, you, so you're just going to tell me all these end numbers, or um, do we need to discover those first? About 500 feet away. Because if I've already made a lap of town, I've already... Yeah. You, yeah you, sure. You'll be able to... The, some things of note is you will see there's a coffin maker's shop, which is in mm-hmm. six. In uh, seven... Is uh, it's called uh, Blinksy Toys. Ah, yeah, uh, that's Shepherd. Which, <laughs> sorry, so what number was that? I'm seven. And seven. And seven. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Calm down. Now. Oh, okay. Uh, I vomit. <laughs> town Square is N eight. N nine, which is not on the map, so you would not. N nine is down the bottom left. It's not in town, so you wouldn't. Get Fair enough. And what's like five and four? Um. Sorry, guys. It's okay, Dave okay, Master. Thanks. Uh, in four is not. There's no signs or anything. It's not like a. It's just a house. Just a house. In five. Oh, it's not just a house. Death house. Oh, that is the <laughs> stockyard. The return of the death house. The death house strikes back. <laughs> Uh, there's like the toy maker shop and the coffin, but there's no like armor, armor or anything like that. There's no like, like head of the guard, like 
there. That'd be like, you know, like the stockyard, or probably, probably where, honestly, where, like, the, the mansion is. Okay. That's probably what you can get for just walking around. We'll have to we'll pause you there while you're doing all that. You're talking to the... What are you doing? Bar. Release them? Yeah, it was one of the bars. And where was... Octavia. Where, 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 where was that lady's house that hates the mayor? I don't... Oh, I, I guess since that would, that would be the N5. So I guess I forgot the... Or N... N4. Four. N4. What was her name? Uh, Fiona Watcher. She has two sons who are dicks. Nikolai and Carl. <laughs> no, that, 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 that. Nikolai yeah, and Carl. She's got the, uh, who the daughter. The daughter is fucking voice. crazy. <laughs> so All right, so you're doing that. I'm talking to the bartender. You're talking to the bartender? Yeah. All right. He's, at this point, Brand is pretty, pretty hammered. He's not, like, falling down. She, I mean, she's still up. working. She, yeah. like, you know, you're not being belligerent, so you... Uh, he's, he's close to being belligerent, but... Uh, so she's, she, I mean, she's in the middle of working. Yeah. So, this place seems pretty busy. We do well. Oh. A, lot of, a lot of weird people in this town. <laughs> like, we, like, despite she, going by what we've she, heard. She kind of giggles like, there's weird people everywhere. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's looking at this whole game man that's, in front that's, of her. That's who, that's who we gave the, uh, the gold to for uh, making sure that Irene and the kids are okay, right? Yeah. And that does. Yeah. How long will they be taken care of? We gave her so much fucking gold. Okay. Like, yeah, I just kind of, I'm a little, make, I want to make sure she's She'll be set up for a while. while. It was okay. very generous of you. Is it. there any place she can go after that? Um, I mean, we're the only inn. Does she have family here? I don't know. Only family was in Barovia. Ah, that's quite the journey. You're telling me. <laughs> she is. We could probably try to rate something more with my, my husband. If you, I'm gonna he'll probably tell you more. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're hoping you can tell us more, I'll do talk to him then. But I was gonna, I out of character, I was gonna float her a couple of gold. She said she was gonna be able to, to set them up with something extra. I'd float her a couple extra. But if she's directing me to go talk to him, I'd just that instead. So how much? She, she'll, she'll actually point to the kitchen. Out, He's in there. Oh, uh, please I don't think. steal anything, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go stomp back into the kitchen now. <laughs> oh, you're that drunk. He's picking up a giant ham and saying, there's munching on like an apple. <laughs> if you actually want to go into the kitchen, you can. If she's telling she's you, she'll, she'll go in the kitchen. Because you, you're trying to do combination, yeah. she'll direct you towards him. So, I will read this description. Aha! This room looks like the kitchen of someone who loves to cook. It has piles of pots, walls, lines of utensils, and shelves of ingredients. And all matter of pleasant odors. Two lanterns hang above a sturdy pine work table in the middle of the clutter. A pot of soup bubbles on the hearth. And you see a, a, a man there. He's going to page. <laughs> she's going to be confused by why the giant armored dragon more just stomping into his kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. He's like, can I, can I help you? Your, your wife sent me in here. <laughs> oh, Want me to talk to you? Did she? Can I give you that look? <laughs> yes. I just had a couple questions for you after... You were taking care of our uh, our friend and the two kids, for taking care of them for a few days. Oh, she had mentioned that. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was asking if there's any way we can find a place for her to live after that. Like we're we're not going to be staying in town for that long. If there's any way you can help her get set up, I I'd be willing to throw a couple extra gold your way to help out. Might be able to. I don't. I can't make any promises. I wouldn't take any gold. I, I could. I could look into it. Could we possibly? Could you possibly hire her on here at the end? I mean, we always. I uh, usually it's just me and. If you could use a couple extra hands. If you could use a couple extra hands. You know what? Maybe that If you could use a couple extra hands, we might be able to help. She might be able to help out, and that would get her set up a little bit. And it, 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 it kind of looks at you as like, you seem quite the adventurer. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> By the way, love the wolf sex. Very good. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, they were. Been a long time since I've had Wolf, but I and he'll invite you like, you like there's like a like like you guys will have a pleasant conversation. Yeah, I like I like food. <laughs> if you want to make uh, make me uh, just persuasion as you're like talking to this guy, see what kind of information you can get. Uh, Excuse me. And we'll do like a brief pause there. Okay, ten. ten. Yeah, ten. All right, we'll do a brief pause. Uh, give me a perception as you're walking around. Ten. 
Am I out of the bar at this point, by the way? Are you you're you leaving the bar? You just straight, just I am going to going the, the Toy store. Master. It's, it's late, so you might say that it's probably closed. I want some monkey. <laughs> you go buy him a monkey. <laughs> Don't be looking at me like that, Garza. <laughs> All right, you can try. You, you can know, try. I we'll say, at least at this give me a point. Perception when you're outside. At, I was gonna say at least at this point, like I'm just now Which discovering, but three. it is night. Yeah, nothing. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Uh, that is a. 14. There's a big closed sign on it. <laughs> As you're walking around town, like you're, you're kind of doing the same things we thought you might run into the a few times. Or once or twice, or whatever. Just, oh, hey! <laughs> and, um, you notice, like, every once in a while, at a corner, you see, like, ravens. And, like, almost like the ravens are watching you. Not, like, maliciously, but, like, you'll see, like, one kind of perch kind of look, like, like studying you almost. And then it'll fly off. Like, you'll be walking the cup down the streets or whatnot, and you might see another one. Okay. It's kind of like, uh, not, not, not 1984, uh, but like 1684. I'm going to run into Uthal on the streets and stuff and just be like, hey, bud, what's what's going on? What are we, what are we doing? What are you doing? I wanted to go to see this guy at a toy shop, but for a monkey yeah, the name. the toy shop's closed. I, 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 I can see <laughs> the toy shop is closed now, um, but hey... Uh, you ever get the feeling you're being watched? I uh, like look up at the. It's <laughs> watching me. I got the Little bag. bag. I am oh. always being watched. I am always biggest around. I mean, I'm just like Everybody looking up looks at the. At me. I'm looking up at the sky and stuff like that. Just, just kind of watching the ravens as they're oh. passing through and stuff. I'm gonna be like. What are you Let's... looking at? The... <sighs> Nothing. Um. <laughs> Damn it, you are a strange man. <laughs> I, you know, it's getting kind of late and stuff, and I don't really account for this town being too safe after hours, so I'm probably going to go back to the inn and, you know, try and secure down the fort, at least for the night. And I start walking and making my way back towards the inn. You're basically, like, looking up at the sky and, like, seeing if there are any more ravens as I'm, like, making my way back down. Every once in a while, it's not like, you know... Super, like when you when you he mentions that you kind of notice there's a lot more ravens hanging out. They're not yeah, like just like following you. I asked him what he's looking at and he goes right. nothing. That's just because it, I don't want to seem crazy. You know? you guys you know? I mean, they're birds. Well, he well, did well, come well, across the and I think he is crazy anyway. And I just kind of <laughs> yeah, crazier. I mean, it's not like you know, it's not too out of the ordinary, but it just seems. A, like crazy to the point that it might be detrimental to the party. I say, are you are you like paranoid about the birds now? I'm a little. I mean, I don't know who's the watching. The pandemic. Yeah. I will say that like when after Ag walks off, Uthal does start to look around to see maybe what he was looking at. I mean, you see ravens yeah. around. Like you may see one. Like will like be watching you guys, and like fly off. Yeah, it's hard to tell they're ravens. Just say one more cocks an eyebrow. Just like, one goes. Hi. Oh, <laughs> but how late is it? I love that. <laughs> so so how late is it? Is it like getting dark? Yeah, it's getting pretty so it's, dark getting pretty dark and there are ravens or birds flying around yeah okay I'm going to notice that that's nice. yeah. out of the ordinary that is unusual it's very unusual for birds to be out and that active in yep. the night so mm-hmm. notice that gonna... I'm going to go right. head back to the bar to find Kurta alright well, so we'll... <laughs> during this process I wanted to go like well they were talking to people and then they were walking around I wanted to go check out the church after so we can rewind it a little Meanwhile, yeah. while you're doing that, well, it's still getting a little dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, the church. <laughs> we already read that. That's okay. Right. Right. Um, when you go in there, there is um, there's like a bunch of people. There's a big con- congregation, and they have, they look like scared and frightened, and like there's a priest that's you know giving a sermon. And there's people like, you know, like, kind of like uh, what it was in Barovia. People like almost like get there for shelter during the night almost. Mm. Is, is that something I might have noticed while walking around? You see people going to the church. All right. Um, but he's doing, he's in the middle of like a service. Oh, uh, well, Garda's not going to want to interrupt, so she's going to like pop a squat in the back and, and just like wait. All right. Uh, let me see. Persuasion roll. 
Also trust me the rest of your flock, aren't you? You notice that he's, you notice that he's, you know, he's doing a lot of prayers and uh, he has a lot of prayers and promises of Saint uh, Andral's protection. Man. Did you know this is Saint Andral's church? Um, is there any like religion or history check I can make to learn more about that or no? Um, go ahead and give it a try. Mm. Religion. Alright, that is a... 22? Uh, you know, it's, uh, the church is uh, dedicated to the Morning Lord, mm -hmm. and named after uh, St. Andral, one of his, you know, one of his saints. And you kind of learn, like, we'll say their history comes, you roll really well, you can be able to talk to people, you know, as they're doing, uh, that uh, is named, the church named after St. Andral, whose bones once rested under the altar. Mm -hmm. Once rested. Uh, no, I, and you kind of get this that like it was recent that the bones had disappeared. Do you and there's a, there's a lot of like panic oh. that say that the bones is what protected this this from Strahd. Do I happen to see any symbols like my amulet anywhere? No. No. Okay. That's right, the amulet was... And then what, now, yeah. I know... Who is the Morning Lord, I guess? So I guess probably... Well, I read the, the description, and it's not a Morning... Like, out of character, it's not a mor an item of the Morning Lord. Oh, okay, then. So, like... But, like, in character, I would know what it does by attuning to it, but I wouldn't necessarily know what it represents. What it represents. Have you told us anything about the amulet? No. Okay, there's a bunch of... We know it's a holy symbol, It's like, and it's a good... Like, since I attuned to it, it's, like, a good holy symbol. But, like, okay. other than that... So basically, once the sermon's over, I would want to go talk to the priest about the bones, if that's possible. Yeah, uh, you, once the uh, sermon's over, uh, may I help you? Um, hello, first I've seen you before. No, we just uh, we just arrived in town today. Um, my name's Garta. Father Lucien. And shakes her hand. I'm a cleric of Moradin, actually. Um, All is welcome in the church. That's very good of you. Um... I gathered from some of the congregation that something important was stolen from the church somewhat recently. Yes. The, 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 the bones of St. Andral. Can they just really once resided under this? Can you, can you tell me anything about the, what, like, the, the night that it was, they were taken? Um, can you tell me? <coughs> I don't know. Uh, someone broke into the crypt a few nights ago. Uh, the church was protected from Strahd's deprivations by the bones which were sealed away in a crypt beneath the church's main altar. But I, now I fear the church may be at risk. How um, these bones are... Now, why do you believe that? Why would this holy place be any less secure than another one? It's... it's who's to say? I suppose it's, it's... May I see where the bones rested? To see if I could pick up any clues as to what happened. Um, if you don't wish me to look as a hollowed place, then... Uh, no, I wouldn't say tonight. Come by tomorrow. If you wish to help, which I really appreciate. I will, he, will, he will kind of get you some information here. Um, let me... I can also... Give me a second, sorry, I'm just kind of like... That's fine. I, I also would like to bring other people who... It's like I have more than one set of eyes looking around. That's, yeah, that's kind of why I did that. Uh, he's, he get you. He, he'll talk to him, and uh, he says, "I was really the only one who knew about the bones, but uh, I do recall it mentioned to uh, to Yeska. Yeska, and which is, is uh, Yeska is uh, the altar boy, Ooh. who just kind of, and then." There's him, you, you learn that there's uh, Yeska, Father Lucien, and there is a, um, a brawny lad uh, named uh, Miljov, Miljov, who tends the grounds and like digs the graves. Okay, great. And like you get the point, you get the, the feeling that like, no, like he, he's very, they like, say he's, he's a very temperamental boy, I would not go to him. You know how kids are. Believe me, I do. <laughs> He's rarely seen without a shovel. 
he kind of keeps to himself in the grave. All right. Um, uh, unless he, unless there's more, then the guard is gonna leave but him in peace. And also, did you kind of learn that uh, the burgomaster, like you, like kind of learn more about him, and that he kind of pretty much has a saying. It says, "All will be well." Oh. And there's some people that kind of doubt that. You look very strong. They kind of it's it's kind of become a joke almost even ish, but like it's very quiet because you notice that like. Like they'll tell you about, like, you know, if you are caught this, the guards will take you to the Burgomaster, and you'll be tried for... Oh, what is it called? Didn't you say something about he was, uh, he was purging people himself or something like that? There was rumors of that. Yeah. Hmm. He seems like a good Christian boy. Yeah. I forget what they called the thing. I still had that... Someone oh, uh, malicious unhappiness. Like malicious unhappiness. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, what an Orwellian nightmare. <laughs> 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 All right, so while you're doing that, we'll go back to we'll go back to my friend Corin. You're having a good time with this. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty lit by this point. Yeah, he <laughs> probably he probably is too. If you guys are sharing, oh yeah, like sharing drinks, drinks, telling stories. Um, what's his name again? Sharing stories, telling stories. Tavio. Retalvio? I like Tavio. Yeah. I like you, Retalvio! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got the greatest idea! Oh, God. <laughs> Retalvio, come with me! Come with me and my friends! We're gonna go what fight, we going? fight wolves out near the lake, <laughs> looking for treasures and glory! <laughs> Boy, that sounds mighty fine, but, um... I do need to get going. <laughs> no, the only place you got to get going is up north to the lake with us. Come on, come on. Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion ever. Roll persuasion with disadvantage. With disadvantage. No, indeed. With disadvantage. With drunk. He was saying with disadvantage. Oh no, what does that mean? Yeah. So you have to roll, you have to roll again roll. and take the lower roll. Oh no. <laughs> Please be twenty. Seventeen. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> NPC! NPC! <laughs> Maybe I'll take you up on that. Tonight. <laughs> we need time to rest and sober up. Exactly. First thing in the morning, we take off for the lake with the boys. Long <laughs> you, you, if you're like talking, he's like, I must see my friend Piccolo, so if you'll excuse me, but I'll see you tomorrow. And he grabs... Uh, like apples and like a steak, <laughs> and you learn that he has a. Uh, actually, you know what? Because you're guys such good friends, you learn that he is actually taking this to uh, to his horse, Drusilla, and his saber tooth tiger. <laughs> he's feeding the steak to. Because <laughs> he's getting drunk and he's he's forgetting his. He's letting his guard down. See it. This is quite a sight. Don't get too close to it, though. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> not, not now, he's very hungry. Retalvia! <laughs> but, Corin, my friend, I was wondering if you could help me with something. Oh, God. <laughs> Anything, Retalvia! <laughs> Come in! Come in! I was wondering if I could find anything, anything out about the owners of this bar. You mean like with this spy on him? <laughs> yes! I see like something you're very good at. Oh my god. This guy's got a hunch down he's like, I have suspicion they uh not quite what they see. What do you mean, Retorio? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say this dude is. He's, he's pretty fucking wasted. <laughs> so I'm gonna just gonna spill information. Great. I am aim to believe that they are. Not people, <gasps> but were ravens. What is a were raven? <laughs> that sounds absolutely frightening. <laughs> you, have you heard of werewolves, right? Yes. You know wolves? Yes. It's that. Or it's but ravens. <laughs> <laughs> Strange world we live in, you know, we're talking to you. You're telling me, Corin. 
find out what, what they're up to. Very much appreciate that. I will do my <laughs> sneaky snake, and I will find out what I can. <laughs> Let's say this like this is going really late. He's saying hammered. I'm too fucking do this. Do it, man. Do it. <laughs> because I am really retarded. Retardio. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like swaying back and forth. It's not really me. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> My real name is Rudolph and Rickon. <laughs> You're the legendary me? vampire hunter. <laughs> oh my god! Don't, shh, don't do it. I'm in disguise. I was a cop that shouted at the top of my lungs. Please <laughs> don't. I'm in disguise <laughs> as Rodolfo. <laughs> that is me. But it's not. Or so it would seem. <laughs> if anyone's watching, you see Gordon and this guy are just like swaying back and forth, <laughs> spilling drinks. Oh, uh, God, you know, it's. Um, we'll we'll say you come back and you see them talking. They're, they're having a good time. Can I, can I, can I wander, can I wander over and like, make sure they're not like. I don't. We'll say after, not during that. Oh, part. of course, of course. Because you're not going to. I don't know if you believe it anyway. <laughs> like, you're talking. And they come by and then he kind of starts like. Hi! Hello! You're a oh, oh, friend of yours, Corin! Yes! Garton is good! <laughs> <laughs> Any friend of Corin is a friend of mine. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Garton like shakes his hand like firmly, but a little. It's kind of. <laughs> Alright, so based. Because he was, you know, telling tall tales, and now I see, like. I would like to make an insight roll oh. on Rotavio, if I may. Go ahead. Because, uh. <coughs> just, just, just cuz. Cuz he's made very good friends with, with, with my bud. <laughs> Who's very drunk. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's a 12, so I probably think he's a good dude. Yeah. Alright. Well, he's, he's him and Corn are having a good time. Alright. Well, uh, I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you two are having a good time. Uh, you tell very good stories. Why, thank you, my lady. Rude. Did you want to hear another? Just hear That's all right. It's getting close to my bedtime. Hey, okay. Yeah. Can I come walking up? Jesus Christ! Because I've been, I came back looking for her. That's true. Yeah. Oh, that's I want to say I saw her leaving the church on my way there, and I'm mm -hmm. just following in. But he, 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 he was back to. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Ag's asleep right now. I'm asleep. I ran asleep. You were asleep. asleep. I ran asleep. asleep next to me at the two children. Oh god, no! Head. It's like it's like imagine. You step dad now. No, yeah, let's promiscuity more like I'm wholesome home. family. Shit. So if you see her in the same or him in the same room with her again, we're just we're all just sleeping in a room together. It's something, it's something like. Weird. You're talking to uh, so, yeah, some of the bar here. Yeah, in the kitchen. You guys are having a good. Chat. I'm kind of like slowly sobering up. We're not drinking at this point. Yeah. We're just we're actually just talking food. He's actually yeah. really interested in your um, like your adventures mm -hmm. and like he's trying to like, you can kind of tell he's trying to like gauge. Can I do an inside check on him. Yeah. If, he's, if he's acting a little. I guess I'm sobering up. Uh, fourteen actually. With that, he's like, he doesn't seem dishonest or anything. Okay. He seems like he's trying to, like, figure out who you are. Like, what, okay. maybe, like, what side you lie on, for lack of a better term. Okay. Like, whether we're pro Stroud or not, basically. Pretty much. Okay. That's right. <coughs> really, uh, other than, uh, Branch isn't going isn't gonna to come out and write, say that they are anti Stroud right off the bat. But otherwise, not a whole lot really that he's hiding. Because, I mean, we just kind of showed up here. We didn't really right, intend yeah. to be here. Yeah, so you really, yeah. Yeah, we came over here to bring the girl over here for money. I want to keep her safe, so That's maybe you help. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure they've got steady heading after we leave. With these, with these, with these lands being what yes. they are and the person yeah. who runs these lands. Yes. Yeah. Place is being kind of weird, yeah. Do you know of Stroud? We've heard of him, yes. Heard a lot. You can't really get too far without hearing about him. That's very true. There's not, there's not, not much here that hasn't been touched by his... Seems to be on the minds of a lot of people here. Yes. There's not much around these parts that's not been painted by the how, uh, how does the Burgomaster get along with him? The Burgomaster claims to be against him. 
It seems that Burgomaster is not exactly the most popular person around here either. Shh. Don't be saying that too loud. Like, there's no one else in the ship. Unless, 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 unless you want to be taken by the guards. I'll be sure the snake doesn't talk. Agathon <laughs> comes out from between the plate and the steak and just says, heard you were talking shit like I wouldn't find out. He slowly sinks back. He's just teleporting to sleep in bed. He's sleeping in bed and then he's like, you're in the plate. Alright, so yeah, you guys will... Anybody else do anything? So, he's he's only, I'm still talking to him. Uh, I, I, like, I want to know what, what his opinion on... Uh, As you guys are talking, you know, roll me... Persuasion. Uh, so if you're trying to get... Uh, 13. With that, you can see he's very much against Strahd. Okay. Does he look healthy? Like, I'm saying this kind of out of character now that we know <clears throat> well, he, that... Well, he's a cook. You have no idea about No, I'm, that's, I'm just, that's why I said out of character. I'm just asking if there's any... Does he look healthy? Does he look normal? What does he look like? He looks pretty healthy. Okay. He's, he's, it looks maybe a little pale because yeah, everyone looks pale. It's not last time here. Yeah. All okay. dark. <clears throat> um, yeah, from this point, oh, we're just having a kind of pleasant conversation. I guess I'm kind of characterizing Brands as a bit of a foodie at this point. So, yeah, he's just they're yeah. hanging out talking wolf steaks and yeah. soup and everything. Well, would you, I would say, like, you know, you become pretty good friends with him. He's like, yeah. the reason I asked about your, your loyalty more as is. Um, we could always use more help in the, the fight of Strahd. Um, fight against Strahd, huh? See, I'm, uh, I'm part of a, uh, a group. It's really? The, the Again, out of character, let's point out that he is a, that Brandis is a silver dragonborn. So that's the same group. There might be a little, uh, wonder about that. Oh, no. I mean, you... <laughs> I don't think those two are necessarily related. No, I'm just yeah. saying, if, you, you, if he is... What again? Out of character. What you're hinting at is that he's part of the Silver Dragon. No, no. no. Okay. He's part of the Rebel Alliance against Straw. We can <gasps> take call it away. We call ourselves the 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 Keepers of the Feather. Keepers of the Feather. Yeah. And I think we could be of use to you if you get in trouble. I you see, I have several friends that watch this place and watch the town for any issue and. You seem like you guys could. Might if you guys ever need any help, you can call upon us. I uh, will keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not. I won't presume to speak for the group, so I will keep that in mind. That Just time. look for the ravens. Good enough. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm coming over and wanted to talk to Karta. <laughs> I, was, oh, I, was, right. I was looking for Karta. Go ahead. And I'm Ooh. seeing her come up to him and seeing that. And I'm going to go, Garta. Corin! <laughs> Garta, man! <laughs> Corin! Garta, man! <laughs> but we're really good friends. <laughs> he says we're really good friends. I just starts lazily coming down the stairs and being like, I can't get fucking ass asleep. Fucking people and, uh, smell into the bed. <laughs> so uh, we're going to continue here without getting interrupted. So, uh... Uh, Gerta, have you noticed anything strange? And after he's talking to you, get, like, while you're actually doing this, he will have left. I'll see you tomorrow, my friend. Gerta, talk to you? Yeah, he, he stumbles. <laughs> he's got, like, a handful of food. And he's trying to cut out to the... He's going to be eaten by a Sinrita here in the morning. Notice anything strange about this town? <laughs> yes. Um, you're going to have to give a little more context than that, uh, dear. Maybe the, uh... The ravens continuing flight around town in the um, dark. Would I? Uh, do you want me to like make a retroactive persuasion? Yeah, yeah. Uh, perception to have seen those. To remember if you saw. That's a that's a twenty three. Oh, mm. You definitely <laughs> noticed. I I did I did why? <laughs> they uh. I thought the ag is weird as he is. He seemed to be uh. Thinking he was watched. I thought it was just Ag, but now mm. some of them may have been uh, watching me. Well, well, there's not much we can do about it tonight. I think what we should do is we all need to bunker down for the night, get some rest, <laughs> and in the morning, we've all been about talking to people and learning things. We all need to come together, 
share what we've learned, and then we'll decide where to go from there. Because I have learned a few things from the, the priest <coughs> of the church. I have, I've made a few rounds of the town, so I have uh, been a caught good looks at the mayor's or quartermaster's house. And good to say, really. Branch is going to kind of wander back out of the kitchen, back towards Garda. You're kind of the unofficial team leader at this point. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're the dungeon mom. I am the dungeon mom. So, oh, for well, you are the cleric, so most... That's also true, yeah. People will just look to the cleric for the game. No true. One yeah. To. So, yeah, Branch kind of just saunters back up, and again, he's about sober again. Mm-hmm. Um, just, anybody, where did you find anything out about the town? Um... Let's ask him both of you. Basically, let's try to ask Corn, but he's just going, ah! <laughs> the Corn, my friend, here. Ride with me. <laughs> <laughs> too high, too high. We're throw up. Just immediately pass it out. <laughs> let's, let's convene, let's convene in, in the room. Is the barkeep still up? In the morning? Well, then, so we can talk. Still there? We can talk tonight. Yeah. Or in the morning, but I think we should. Let's, let's, before we really start getting to the nitty gritty, he'll give you the, the wines and. Stop what we're talking. Yeah, sorry. I got right. distracted by it. Yeah. Let's, let's all get, let's, uh, let's at least get up to the room. We can That's talk fair. tonight, we can talk in the morning, but we need to not be in a yes. public, public That's a good forum. Idea. Um, I'm on for that, yes. So basically, we, we paid for the one room. <clears throat> I will go ahead and. I'll, I'll, tell you what, I'll go back and talk to the uh, cook, the owner again, see if we can get a, a decent price on a uh, big group right. room or something. You, I'm not gonna roll play that. Whatever you want to spend. I just before you know, before you guys even started talking, I'm just already walking away with a bottle of wine, and I just punch a random door open and just start, just decide that that's my room. <laughs> Fuck you! I'll pay you in the morning. Well, uh, I, I, I ask you are. Uh, <laughs> I give the I give the dude five gold. Was that really? I know. How, like, how much was it for the night? And uh, one pieces? silver. I'll give him one gold piece. That should cover a that couple of rooms. That should cover us for a very good amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, well, give us the gold you're rooms, spending. Yeah. The friends you've yeah. made. Yeah. Okay. So we, let's we all get a good night's rest, and those who need to sober up, sober up. So I'm pretty nice. well there. So, Just these two. <laughs> you're feeling a little rough, Corin. <laughs> I'm feeling this fine. Does he remember much of the night? Corn <laughs> is fine. Absolutely. Y'all have like Corn's so never drank before. It's hazy, but yeah, he drink. Halflings can drink and eat, dude. Oh, that's yeah. true. I keep All right, so, instead of everyone cycling through everything they've talked about, why don't we instead, if you have anything you want to omit from the, the group... Just say that, and then we won't know it. But otherwise, let's just move on. The moment them. somebody says something about ravens, I'll bring up what I heard. Yeah, but that's like so. Yeah, well, you share, right? And then like, it's say, Corin, you don't want to share the stuff you learned about uh, Rotavio. <laughs> Those here, that's not. Is that's the really? That's the question because Rotavio wanted you to be quiet about it, and especially since because like. We, you hear us, and would you mention him being part, uh, would you mention... Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, as soon as he mentions Ravens, I'm coming you, up with everything about it. Okay. Like, like so, said, there's something about Ravens watching. Well, he yeah. was talking about feathers and things yeah. watching us, so maybe so, that'll be part of it. I won't, I won't uh, reveal his real identity. Okay. If that's uh, his real identity. It, whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I'll just... I'll, but I will, I will say everything about he has sus- suspicions. Okay. So he says... <laughs> So, putting puzzle pieces together here, Rotavio, Rudolph, or whatever the hell his name was. Um, was Rotavio was the name of Corin. Right. Yeah, so he, he, we he know didn't him say that. He didn't say that. We know him. Rotavio believes that the owner uh, isn't who he says he is, and, and truthfully, he's not. He's part of the resistance thing. So, the question becomes... Because like, we've already gone, you know, gone by a revenant in the road mm-hmm. and decided he was... I. Yeah. So like different group though. No, I know, I know. What I'm right. saying is, so we've already set a precedent of not every monster we come across is going to be something True. we try to kill. True. Right. So the question is, do we? I. Th- Let me get in character here. <clears throat> I think we can trust them. I'm going to say so as well. We're already trusting him with Irina and the two kids. I'm not saying Rotavio is a bad man. He might oh, be, he's not. He might be a he great might, guy. He's fun. <laughs> he may not be a bad man. He may just not have all the information yet. Absolutely. So, but we'll keep an open mind. I'm not going to say that if we 
we might discover something about them mm -hmm. later. It's definitely something to look into. But yeah, she also she reveals she talks about the bones of Saint. Uh, I wrote that down one second. The bones of Saint Andral, and uh, mentions that those are missing. Um, so we kind of have I, a couple options available. Got, is there any uh, information I could have got? Could I got from the Burgomeister's uh, mansion that I could tell them that'd be of interest? Not really. Uh, you'd have to go actually investigate that a little bit more. You just gotta walk by it. Didn't didn't see the purple flashes that were mentioned by someone. And not at that point. Okay. Not at that time. So okay. it's not, may, may not necessarily you know it didn't happen, but you just didn't notice so it. So now we kind of have a couple different options of what we do next. We can go investigate the church and the bones. Mm -hmm. We can go investigate the uh, what was the name of the group? Sorry. The, or the keepers of the feather. Keepers of the feather. We can go ch chat them up a little more. We can uh, follow Rataviyan. Go on an adventure with Rataviyan yeah, to the lake. We can work <laughs> well, but Rataviyan was, he was trying to convince yeah. Rataviyan to come with us. I know, no, but Rataviyan wanted his help in figuring out more about the... Brothers in the oh, Feather. Yeah, well, not tomorrow. necessarily. He was also very... Yeah. 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 But yeah. There, there might be something to follow oh, Rataviyan. <laughs> or we could just say, fuck it, and go to the lake. So, so you, I We think, have a guide, possibly. Yeah. I do talk about. I do mention the guide. I would. I would front the gold if we decide right. to, to hire them on for help. Um, I probably should have made an insight check on them. Well, I can make one before before hiring them. So um, I would like to investigate the church before we leave, and then I would say I would say the the order of things I would prefer are investigate church and like talk to people around there, talk to the guide if we decide we want to want his help, and then uh, go go to the lake. I am kind of on the line. I want to find out more about the group, the feather group, mm -hmm. simply because if they have a reconnaissance thing with those ravens, that could be beneficial to us. That's probably why one was trying to warn us going into the... With the windmill. Windmill. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So, I mean, we could already have a decent... So, they could probably already know about us going into the windmill and leaving right. and, having it, and burning it down. They were and, well, getting rid of some hags, too. Yeah. So, I mean, I would, they seem to have a good foothold in the town and would know a lot more about what's going on. So I would want to check in with that. I would want to investigate that first. They may even have more insight into the uh, church thing, too. That's what Utho would want. He, that's the one thing he knows about the town and wanted to find out more about. I can, I can agree with that. Ag? Nothing. I ain't got anything. <laughs> he's, he's you guys, you guys got it all figured out, so. Okay. Do you, you don't, do you, do you have a preference where we go first? No. You guys want to go to the church? We can and stuff because the lake might take us a minute. I, I'm I'm putting the lake off for a moment until I, I want to know more about where we're at and using the the group to maybe gain some more information. The feathered. Yeah. yeah. All right. So honestly, he talked to you. Yeah. So you should probably just go. Well, um, let's. Corn. What say you? Uh, I will go with the wind, boys. Hmm? All right. Uh, um. The next morning, you were supposed to be doing something with Rotavio. Rotavio, he's supposed to be. Are you going to try You to don't see him when you wake up? <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you find a shoe outside a saber tooth tiger cage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I guess we'll go, I'll go back and talk to, what's his name? I, Ivar? Ivan? The bar owner. Irwin. 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 Steve Irwin. Yes. Crocky. <laughs> Good morning. So, can, what can, more can you tell me about your uh, the group? What's the name? I keep blanking on Brother, the Order, Order of the Feather. Order of the Keepers. Keepers of the Feather. I like how there's no courtesy. You're just like, so, no. let's get into well, it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, well, no, I told him that I was going to confer with my group first and everything like that. So you didn't like, even say good tomorrow. I'm just kidding. You should. Uh, yeah, so uh, our group would be interested in, in uh, working with you a little more or finding out what's going on a little more. Just, if you need any help, just call upon the ravens. We'll be there to help. When we can. What would be the price of your help? Nothing. Strahd's demise. I guess that's fair. <laughs> that's on our um, list. <laughs> so you alluded to uh, some, some things watching out for us. A few of my friends have said they've heard ravens. Uh, it felt like they were wa being watched by them. 
Is that something to do with you? you they watch the town in general, but I've heard tale of you guys. So it would seem that you have quite a bit of it. You have a lot more insight to the town than most. Uh, knowing of what's that. going on. You can say that. Have you heard anything about bones disappearing from the church? Um, not a lot. I, I know that the, the bones once uh, protected the church and now and what may have happened to them? That I don't know. What uh, any intelligence that the Ravens have gathered recently? Not about the church, no, it's in general. In general, actually. We just kinda okay. keep so, each other in line. Keep each other protected. So just out of character again is if was our next move to go to the church, or are we going to go towards the lake? Next, I preferred going to the church next. But if if we if people want to just go to the lake, like the, what was the? Well, the, are we getting Rotavia before we go to the lake? Rotavia is gone. Well, well no, he's not, not going nowhere. Rotavia. He's not there because. Um, well, the thing is, is when Corn and I were talking to Rotavio uh, and talking about Piccolo, his okay. monkey, he said that he visits him every morning. Right. So he might be there. That's true. I'm still I'm still talking to to Irwin, but. Um, what was the the intention that's going to fall? <laughs> uh, what was the intention for going to the lake again? What were we looking for? We're that's, looking for the next clue. I, I know. I'm trying to remember what it was. <coughs> I think that was the sword? Uh, the strength. It was the Myrmidon card. Uh, a den of wolves uh, at hills above a lake. And then something to do with the Mother Knight. But it was definitely strength in a finding... Mother, mother Knight? Mother Knight, yes. Okay. Which is one of like the gods of this plane of existence. I, I, I remember one of them. I can't. Do you have written down which one of them mentioned? Because one of them mentioned a blade or a weapon or something, and I feel like that, that was one. that was the strength card. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. So it's a weapon at that place. A weapon meant to kill Strahd. Okay. Like, meant to help us kill Strahd. Have you heard anything of maybe a weapon around the lake? Something along those lines. We've heard, we've no one heard, really we've goes heard to some the rumors from the it's far too dangerous. We heard some rumors from the Astani, and we were just trying to follow up on what we might have heard. So, just trying to gather information. We heard about the wolves. Nothing Actually, by this the lake. There's really no. Okay. There's a lake farther on that uh, near the mountains. Another lake? Yes. Smaller, but. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's up. He'll kind of point in the direction. It's it's quite dangerous. What I've heard. And uh, what do you know of the the scouts? The two brothers. Was it brothers? Yeah, uh, their brother names, scouts. Their names were. I don't. They weren't. They were brothers, but they are uh, both the they were not. Their names I are. Calling them brothers. Zal, Zal, Zaldar Zaldarovich and Vengi Krushkin. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hunters. Know anything about reputation? Trustworthy. I mean, they're not the most happiest lot, but. Have you worked with them in the past? They they bring me on occasion. They do good work. Would you vouch for them? Yeah, they do good work. Okay. They're. They're, they're great at killing wolves. Do you ever need wolves to be killed? That might help. Um, can be neatly enough. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> um, we may good luck be, on your quest, your journey. Just know that what we do is in service. Uh, in in. Let's work for in you. line. In yeah. line with trying to, to further your goals as well. Very well. Okay. Right. Um. So I guess we're going to go check out... The, I would like to go check out the church. Either one works for me. I would like to talk, speak to... I, honestly, I would like... Talk, speak? I would like to talk, speak to the one who's going to probably be more of a problem first. So I would like to... Seek, the young, uh, seek uh, the, out uh, Miljov. Miljov. I would like to seek out Miljov. Are, are, are you guys oh, all going to the church? One quick second, again, out of character. It's now uh, 4.36. I know we were going to stop at 5. Is there a stopping point anywhere near? I mean, this is a good stopping point, or we can continue on. It's really up to you guys. This would actually be a great stopping point I would, for me. That's why I kind of right, suggested yeah. it. Okay. I'm, I'm okay if we stop yeah. here. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, it's gets more. This is a little more role playing heavy. I had balanced that with the last time. I am. I was down. I was down for the role playing, man. It was good. Well, we got some excellent role play out of Corin. <laughs> Corin killed that it. May be the highlight of the entire story. This Corin one. killed it. That was <laughs> fucking beautiful. <laughs> that, was that was amazing. That was my favorite moment. By I, the I, way. I, I have to you. you. <laughs> you're normally very quiet when we're playing. You're very, very reserved, and you know. This kind of keeping the podcast in line. So the absolute <laughs> explosion <laughs> coming from over here, I am down for it. the number of times we have Bertopio. <laughs> <laughs> really, and another thing that is, that is 
absolutely <laughs> worthwhile checking out on the Facebook Live. No. <laughs> You're not going to get the full experience on just the podcast. Seek out the live stream. <laughs> It was fantastic. That was I, I love. I love when people get into like role yes. playing because I'm, I'm a big fan yes. of balance between combat and yeah. actual like role play. And I go. Not gonna lie, we're also giving David a chance to re uh, scale his monsters so that we don't murder death, kill everything again. You're fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fun. Oh, thank you. Yes, everything is fine. Fine, fine, fine. This is fine. All right. Well, thank you very much to our lovely hosts, as always. I gotta say, I'm getting more in tune with. Twice orphaned as well. Like, can he, he loves your horn because he likes like little trinket <laughs> and things, and he's really small and he's kind of like really animated. So and the twice orphaned immediately goes, "I like this guy because yeah, it just piques my like weird." Just a very small. I will guy. say you actually mentioned that for for twice orphaned at the very first session we had that he had a little bit of affinity for corn because he was small. Yeah. So nice callback as well. And then everyone, everyone, along, everyone did a great job. This, everyone, we have continuity here. If I was giving away experience for role playing, you'd all get a lot of it. Excellent. That was a lot of fun. Yep. We're really coming into these characters. Yep, we're getting there. I am enjoying this. Yes. I am pleased. <laughs> Hopefully we get back together sooner than later. That's too yes. long of a hiatus. It's been too long. Absolutely. Three or four weeks. Oh, it's, it's sad. Will, we be, uh, will they be breaking up the uh, the D&D podcast with the Laughing Con one in the future? Uh, yeah. So I, I know so. we did the whole uh, the uh, fiasco podcast at Laughing Con. I imagine that between... Might, uh, that might show up here soon. We yeah. have a few other ones. In the between background. Barovia Bros and uh, the Malaki, we'll probably do a couple different things. So, good to hear. All right, awesome. Well, thank you to our uh, to our team here, yeah. Alex, Austin, Alex, and AJ. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dave, uh, Master, and Nate. A square. Dave for you mean and, and? <laughs> <laughs> go team. Thank and you. I really appreciate you guys. I wasn't the most prepared, so I've kind of. We see me flipping back in the book and stuff. I'm sorry. It's, Honestly, it's I didn't really notice. Be I think you, you. We, we've proven at this point we can fill any empty space with bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes too much bullshit. That's all I do. That's all I do. Fill things bullshit. No. We're pretty good at it too. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, thank you to everyone who uh, chimed in on Facebook Live and to everyone listening to the audio, whether it be on Spotify, Apple Music, Stitcher, Podbean, Podbean. YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. You got that one last time too. You know, I'm just gonna continue throwing YouTube in there. Yeah. YouTube. 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 Uh. uh excellent. Sweet. Can't wait to do it again, guys. And until then, uh be well. Truth we'll see you next time. time on another episode of Dungeons. With dudes. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys, that was a lot of fun. Uh Yes, it was. It was. I love me some role playing.